Hello all, welcome back to NSA Maths. Today we are going to start unit number 2 applications of matrices. First of all, what are the contents, syllabus contents in unit number 2? So we are going to learn the diagonalization of mat real matrix. Then we are going to learn the Cayley Hamilton theorem. After that, quadratic forms. Sylvester theorem and applications of matrices in engineering mainly we are going to learn the applications in translation and rotation of matrix that are useful in computer graphing now first of all the first point is diagonalization of real matrix so for this we mainly need the algebraic multiplicity and geometric multiplicity of the matrix. So first of all we learn the definition of diagonalization of matrix. So what is the definition? If algebraic multiplicity is equal to the geometric multiplicity then the matrix A is called diagonalizable matrix. That means if algebraic multiplicity algebraic multiplicity E is equals to geometric multiplicity for given matrix then we say that that matrix is diagonalizable if a square matrix A of order N is diagonalizable then there exists a matrix P such that P inverse AP is equals to capital D where capital D is a diagonal matrix and P is called the modal matrix Then how to calculate the algebraic multiplicity? So let A B N cross N matrix with eigenvalue lambda. The algebraic multiplicity of lambda is the number of times lambda is repeated as a root of characteristic equation. In last topic we already learned the eigenvalues of a matrix. If the eigenvalue is repeated, for example, if there is an eigenvalue lambda, lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3, okay, and if lambda 1 is equal to lambda 2, that means that value is repeated, that, that times we can say that the algebraic multiplicity of lambda 1 is 2. One more example, if the eigenvalues are 1, 1, 0. So, in this case, uh, that is algebraic multiplicity of 0 is 1, because 0 is not repeated. But 1 is repeated, it is 2 times. So algebraic multiplicity of 1 is 2. Let us take another example. If eigenvalues of a 3 cross 3 matrix are 1, 1, 1. All 3 eigenvalues are 1, 1, 1. So that time, algebraic multiplicity of 1 is 3. Because that eigenvalue 1 is repeated 3 times. Then, what is geometric multiplicity? Geometric multiplicity of an eigenvalue is the number of linearly independent eigenvectors associated with it. That means um, when the eigenvalue is there, we, are, we can find corresponding it eigenvectors. So the number of linearly eigenvectors we will get that is called the geometric multiplicity of given eigenvalue. Then some notes, some important points. Let A be an N cross N matrix with eigenvalue lambda. Then we are going to calculate the geometric multiplicity by using the formula. Lambda geometric multiplicity of this eigenvalue lambda is equals to N minus rank of that is row of that is means rank of A minus lambda. Okay. How we are going to calculate the geometric multiplicity? So we are going to calculate geometric multiplicity is equals to N minus rank of a minus lambda i for the eigenvalue lambda. So for that first we are going to calculate the uh, rank of A minus lambda i matrix and subtract that rank from n where n is the order of the matrix. Then algebraic multiplicity of each eigenvalue is equal to geometric multiplicity that time you can say that matrix is diagonalizable algebraic multiplicity of each eigenvalue is equal to geometric multiplicity. That time you can say that the given matrix is 
मल्टीप्लिसिटी and in this case if i all eigen values of matrix a are distinct all are distinct that means it is not repeated two times it is only single times and if all eigen values are single times that means in each uh, case the algebraic multiplicity is equal to geometric multiplicity that means matrix a is diagonalizable then fourth number matrix p is formed by grouping the eigen vectors of a in square matrix form so how to calculate modal matrix p so first uh, calculate all eigen values of matrix a then calculate all eigen vectors corresponding to these eigen values and write down that eigen vectors in a matrix form that matrix is called the modal matrix p and fifth one is diagonal, diagonal matrix capital d is known as a spectral matrix and it has eigen values of a as its diagonal elements so what is capital d matrix or the diagonal matrix so whatever the eigen values of given matrix just write down that eigen values in a diagonal and remaining non diagonal elements keep zero that matrix is called diagonal matrix then first example determine whether the following matrix is diagonalizable matrix is given as a is equals to the first row 1 minus 6 minus 4 second row 0 4 2 third row 0 minus 6 minus 3 So you have to check whether this matrix is diagonalizable. For that, first of all, we need to find the eigen values of this matrix. So first, we have to calculate the characteristic equation. We know that the characteristic equation is lambda cube minus s one lambda square plus s two lambda minus determinant of a is equal to zero. Value of s one we will get two. Value of s two after calculating we will get one, and determinant we will get zero. So put the values of s1, s2, and determinant in this equation. We will get the equation lambda cube minus 2 lambda square plus lambda equals to zero. Now simplifying this equation, find the values for lambda. So we will get the three values of lambda. Lambda is equals to zero. Lambda is equals to one. And again, lambda is equals to one. So see, there are three eigen values. Out of that, zero is not repeated, and but one is repeated. Now since zero is not repeated. So for zero, for lambda is equals to zero, algebraic multiplicity is equals to geometric multiplicity. That is equals to one because it is not repeated. So this is non-repeated roots. And for lambda is equals to one, this is a repeated root, re repeated two times. So algebraic multiplicity for lambda is equals to one is equals to two. So we need to calculate geometric multiplicity. So consider the matrix A minus lambda I. Where lambda is equals to one because we are going to solve this for lambda is equals to one, so we will get a minus i. So I just calculate the a minus i matrix here. Then after that, I want to calculate the rank of this matrix. So for that, I use the operations. See, I use minus one by two r one. That means multiply first row by minus one by two and multiply third row by minus one by two. So we will get this matrix having first row as a zero three two, second row as a zero three two, and third row as a zero three two. Then by performing the operations R two minus R one and R three minus R one, the second and third row becomes zero. So we will get first row as a zero three two, second row as a zero zero zero, and third row as a again zero zero zero. So this is in Ichilan form. Therefore, the rank of the matrix A minus lambda I is equal to one. Now use the formula of geometric multiplicity. Geometric multiplicity is equal to n minus rank of a minus lambda i. Value of n, that is order of the matrix. This matrix is of order three cross three. Given a matrix is of order three cross three, so value of n is three. Three minus rank, rank is one. So three minus one, you will get geometric multiplicity is two. And what about algebraic multiplicity of one? One is repeated two times. So algebraic multiplicity of one is also two. Here we have written here algebraic multiplicity of one one is two, and geometric multiplicity is also two. So algebraic multiplicity is equal to geometric multiplicity in this case also. 
that means for lambda is equals to zero also algebraic multiplicity is equals to geometric multiplicity and for lambda is equals to one also algebraic multiplicity is equals to geometric multiplicity that means for all eigen values of a given matrix algebraic multiplicity is equals to geometric multiplicity therefore we can say that given matrix is diagonalizable so remaining examples we will see in the next video thank you for watching video